by Mash. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make like chain smokers, Zed, make the I actually discovered the Chainsmokers like way back when they used to make indie remixes. I liked it. I had it on repeat. No shame. I've actually like foregone any notion of having actual taste because if anything makes my brain go wee, then I like it. Okay, enough talking. Let's just get into it. Main stage, here we come. First thing we're going to do is start at 100 BPM. We're going to figure out a... So once you've figured out the chords, you've figured out the entire song. It's the backbone for everything. Trust me. When building chords, I normally like to do regular triads, right? But instead, I use ninth and seven chords to remove the cheesiness from normal triads in pop music. So what are seventh chords? They are just your regular triad, but you add the seventh note of the scale onto it. So you get more of a full, richer sounding chord. It's a great way to get really full sounding chords. The next thing I like to do is use the quick switch rhythm, which gives a bounciness to the chord progression. So instead of putting the chords on each beat, I like to do a quick switch with a different chord to make it bouncy. And it's not just on the beat like this. So compare that. Switch. 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 By combining 7th and 9th chords with this quick switch method, you can keep your progressions simple but still have them sound interesting. So these are the chords I used. E major 9, G sharp minor 7, and B add 9. Now that we have our piano progression, we want to fill it out with some... This is very simple. First, how do we come up with our bass line? Easy, we're just going to use the chord progression that we had earlier, and we just copy, paste those exact same notes onto our bass track. Just like that. The sound is just detune saw waves with a low pass filter on it. And I use this free plugin called BOD. It's normally used for bass guitars, but it adds a lot of warmth to the bass. Combined with the piano. Auto pan just to give it movement. Now to complement the piano, Chain Smokers, Elenium, Set the Sky, they really like to use guitar. So I could grab a guitar, mic it up, open up my interface, write it, record it, and take after take after take, but I don't got time for that. So we're just gonna sample some emo music. This is a song by a band called Can't Swim. Just a little bit of transposing, and mixed in with the piano, we get... Now let's move on to the... As far as sample selection goes, we've got our kick. Nice and clicky to punch through all the super saws we'll be adding later. We've got the trappy snare because chain smokers like to take a lot of influence from hip hop. So getting those hip hop sounding snares incorporated in there really works. Clap, reverb on it to add a layer and the sprinkler hats. As far as arrangement goes, I use a breakbeat rhythm. It looks like this. Make sure to keep it simple. All the ravers at main stage don't need to be overwhelmed by crazy complex drums. That type of beat also complements the bounciness of the chord progression that we made. So let's move on to... The sound is pretty straightforward and it's not as important to the overall vibe. Most of the energy will be coming from the processing and the automation of the sound. I've also included the patch as a free download and I've also made a more in-depth video of the actual sound design. Keep watching the video to find out how to get access to that. As far as the processing goes, I've used OTT. Grab OTT, it's under multi-band dynamics and it's one of the settings just over here. OTT will squash the sound completely, make it thick and make it tight. That's what we want because without it, and then you add OTT on it. I've also turned the time knob up here to reduce the tail of the reverb a little bit, just to keep it tight. I put the sidechain on the entire drop group here just to save CPU. I had to freeze it because this actual patch was taking up too much CPU. So this is what it ended up looking like. Last thing I did is I added a bit more reverb through Little Plate and Camel Crusher on the British Clean setting to just bring out the highs. Automation, this is the most important part. I like to use auto pan because it saves on my CPU. It's easier with auto pan because I just want to automate volume to give it that future bass wobble. So the settings go like this. I turn amount to 100. Phase stays at zero so that you don't get all these guys. Shape is the triangle. And the only thing we're automating here is the rate, which is I keep it on default at 1 8th and then just switching it to 1 16th for the little flourishes. 
Now pay attention, because here's the trick that makes this work. I like to use what's called the snare pods. Because I remember the first time I heard this at a show, it just really got me going, but I didn't even realize what was actually happening until I started making this type of music. The snare pause is when you pause everything on the very first snare. Look at here, you can see this little gap. That's where the first snare hits. So anytime you do a synth, pause it at that first snare and you get this pause. Let that snare out and it's that first hit that just gets you. It's just this really cool subconscious trick that you can use not just in this genre, you can use it in all sorts of music. So we wanna fill out this drop now. So we do that with sound patch is simple and on its own it just sounds kind of like a pluck it's almost like a real bass guitar actually as for the processing i use erosion and ott erosion to add noise and then ott to bring out that noise and then auto pan as well to follow the main synth next we have our sub it's made of three elements just a sine wave a little bit of noise and distortion our sine wave gives us that nice rumble the noise and distortion adds harmonics you can hear it on laptop speakers iphone speakers that sort of thing and i've also chosen not to use any automation to just keep that low end nice and strong and once again this bass line comes from the exact same chord progression aze all together <laughs> Once you have that main idea down, you can just start adding the This includes stuff like fills. Or I've used a demo vocal that I recorded a while ago. Sort of give this a little bit of context. It came in handy by adding vocal chops on every beat. That just fills out the song a little more. And then I also like to use crowd noise. Another subtle trick to fill out your drop because it adds all of these harmonics. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna show you the final product, but before I do that, like and subscribe if you want. That way you never miss a video. If there are certain artists you want me to remake, make sure to leave that at the comments below, or you can tweet at me, DM me on Instagram. Here's a link to all of my socials. Be sure to follow me as well. As I stated earlier, I have the link to the Serum presets. That's available for free. Yes, free, just for you. And I've also included a video of me diving right into the sound design, how to actually make those things. But that's it for me. Here's the final product. Enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.